The COVID pandemic put a damper on her 2020 Summer Olympic experience, but one South Florida resident is determined to make up for it at her second Olympic appearance this summer in Paris. Yeah, Lara Dalman Weiss hopes to make waves literally when she competes in the inaugural mixed gender sailing event. CBS 2's mommy's Lisa Petrillo caught up with her at the U.S. Sailing Center in Coconut Grove, and Lisa and Lara embarked on a sailing adventure together. So this is the U.S. Sailing Center, and it's where we do a lot of our training, uh, pretty much all winter long. We're getting ready to set sail here at the U.S. Sailing Center in Coconut Grove with Miami's own Laura Dalman weiss who will soon make her second appearance at the Summer Olympic Games. We first met Laura after she returned from Tokyo back in 2021 when she competed in the two-person dinghy with her partner Nicole Barnes, where unfortunately they didn't medal. This time, Laura is heading to Paris to compete in an exciting new category, the first ever mixed gender two-person dinghy. Her new partner, Stu McNay, joins her on this Olympic journey. They secured their spot during the January trials held right here in Miami. It's not very common that our friends and family can watch us sail. Just amazing to have boats on the water where people could watch us. My mom was there, my dad was there. This experience is entirely different from the postponed 2020 games when all teams were in COVID lockdown. Families couldn't attend and athletes were confined to their own bubbles. I have to just feel the Olympic spirit in a different way than I did in Tokyo and not wake up and do a COVID test every morning and just like, yeah, I'm so excited. Okay, you can get on. Okay. On this day, Laura has asked her friend Magnus Liliadal to take us out on his boat. Magnus is an Olympic gold medalist in sailing for Team USA. He competed in the 2000 Sydney Olympics. His 20-foot sonar is larger than Laura's boat, which is under 15 feet. When Laura sails, she's literally hanging off the side of the boat. Magnus, has she got a real shot at this, you think? Absolutely. What is it, your biggest advice to her? Enjoy the moment. For sure. You're going to have your whole community behind you. It's got to feel good. And not only your whole community where you live, but the entire United States of America. It's crazy. <laughs> to start to feel the momentum of Team USA and to see the other athletes, the U.S. is such a powerhouse and you really feel it. Before we knew it, we were feeling the power of the winds. They kicked up and so did the boat. So, and these, do you see this puff right here? Okay. <laughs> Welcome to sailing. I feel like I should be videoing the two of you. It happened again. Oh, oh no, man overboard. And then my hat flew off and Laura retrieved it with ease. The Olympic champion gets the wet hat. That's insane. It's a breed of people that can come out on this water and do all this going on, and but you just absolutely love it. I love it. I'm obsessed. <laughs> and our races are crazy. I mean, we race for six days long, and it's the most intense sport. <laughs> An adventurous day for us, but nothing for this seasoned sailor who has her sights on Olympic gold. Obviously elated if it happens, and if it doesn't, are you prepared for that as well? Uh, I think you're the first person to ask me that, uh -huh. but yes, I mean, I have to get used to the to knowing that it's the journey, it's the people that you meet, and want to win that gold, and I see it every single morning. I want to, I see myself on top of the podium, but. If it doesn't happen, I have an amazing life. Lots of practicing off the waters here in Coconut Grove for the next couple of months. Then they leave late July for the fits of what they're wearing. And then it's head on for the Olympics early August for this Olympic sailing team. I'm Lisa Petrillo, CBS News, Miami. All right, her hat survived. Yes, and can't <laughs> wait to follow her journey to Paris. Pretty impressive. Could your tummy tolerate that? Ooh, that was rough. Yeah, she's a trooper, her yeah. and Lisa. I don't know if I'd be that brave either. <laughs>